We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. So I want to go ahead and shout out Dr. Menzo. So she asked me to cover this story, but people have been requesting this for the past few days. Everybody wants to know what I think about the whole Matthew Knowles situation. So if y'all don't know, honey, it's Matthew Knowles with one T, not two T's, a.k.a. Beyonce's daddy. Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. A.k.a. the man who cheated on Tina Knowles. Basically, he's been out here promoting his new book, and it's called Racism from the Eyes of a Child. Now, I told y'all I wanted to stay away from all these colorism topics because it's just been just a bunch of mess. Anytime we address colorism, honey, it's a bunch of mess. It's a bunch of fighting back and forth and whatever. So I've been been kind of staying away from these topics because it's a very hot button topic but I do want to address this because people keep asking me to talk about this whole Matthew Knowles situation and people are praising him and giving him props and everything else so if you guys don't know Matthew Knowles did an interview yesterday with the UK daytime breakfast show and basically on that show not only was he splashing all of Beyonce and Jay-Z's tea he spoke about the whole elevator incident that happened in 2014 when Solange attacked Jay-Z in that elevator. And Beyonce just stood there like a damn MK Ultra mind control slave. You know, she just sat there in the corner like her little sister wasn't whooping the shit out her damn husband and baby daddy. I mean, come on now, Beyonce. You got to get involved somehow. She act like the shit wasn't even going on. So anyways, he addressed that. And this is what he had to say about the situation. Check this out. And you see them having very public moments like the moment that we all saw over here when TMZ exclusively revealed Solange apparently attacking Jay-Z. I feel very, very calm about this and comfortable that both Solange and Beyonce uh, were given the tools that they need to be successful. Are they going to make mistakes? Absolutely. But mistakes are an opportunity to grow, not a reason to quit. And so I feel comfortable about that. All right, that. so you guys just heard what Matthew Knowles had to say. So now on top of that, he also addressed the whole colorism situation. So if you guys do not know, Matthew Knowles says that there's a lot of colorism in the industry, and he's been witness to it firsthand. And he was basically, you know, raised in a colorist um, environment because his mother would tell him, don't bring home no dark-skinned, nappy-headed girl. And he said that when he first saw Tina Knowles, he had assumed that she was white. We all know that Tina Knowles is Creole, but, you know, looking at her, especially looking at her younger people, pictures I can see where he you know he didn't really understand her ethnicity because she does look very racially ambiguous so he initially thought she was white and she wasn't but he fell in love with her and he had always been dating either lighter skinned women or white women and so he's addressing that in this book so basically he was on TMZ talking about this and he was saying that in the music industry you know people like his daughter Beyonce Rihanna Mariah Carey they get ahead up in the industry because they're light skinned and you know again I've been saying this from day one but again when I say this as a dark skinned woman I'm coin bitter. I'm coin jealous. I'm coined a hater. I'm told to have a tall glass of what? Shut the fuck up, bitch. It's like people get so upset. And yes, it's empty. I drunk all the damn tea. So let me not even front. This shit is empty. But you know, people get upset when it comes to the topic of colorism. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out what Matthew Knowles had to say on that talk show. Check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. And when we look at pop radio, we can look, and, and, and I don't use Beyonce or Solange, my younger daughter. Uh, I really uh, talk about Mariah Carey um, and others, Rihanna, uh, that it's just a known fact. If we look over the last 10 years and we look at colorism, which is, you know, discrimination based on the shade of color, uh, it's, it's a fact. It's a fact that... Uh, had uh, Beyonce or any of the other artists, uh, Alicia Keys, I can go on and on. Uh, color, a shade of color does make a difference in pop radio. All right, so you guys just saw what Matthew Knowles had to say. And like I said, I've been saying this for the longest time. But with that being said, this does not take away anything from Beyonce. That's what I don't want people to misconstrue. That's what I see a lot of people doing like, oh, she only made it because she's light-skinned. No, it's not the only reason why she made it. Beyonce is a talented woman. Y'all know, honey, I am a Queen Beyonce fan, honey. I don't stand for no damn body but my damn self, okay? But I am a Queen Beyonce fan. I have every single song that Beyonce has ever done. I've been 
rocking with her since my days in high school, okay? I love her. I love Destiny's Child. So this is no shade towards Queen B, okay? But what I'm saying is Beyonce is a very multifaceted person. She can dance her ass off in damn sneakers, high heels. She, I mean, she comes up with all types of like really cool choreography. She can sing. She's a writer. She's a producer. Beyonce has many talents and that has nothing to do with the color of her skin. So let's get that out the way. So that doesn't take away from these people. But what I've always said is that, you know, when somebody is more racially ambiguous, they can market them to many different people. And we see that with Cardi B. That's not to take away from her hard work because it's not easy to be up in the studio till two, three in the morning writing songs and, you know, creating beats and all that stuff. But what it is, it's about markability. At the end of the day, the industry is about making money. They don't care about, you know, your insecurities. They don't care about what dark skinned women have to go through, you know what I'm saying? Or even what light skinned women may go through because they also get it on the opposite spectrum. But they care about making money. So if I can take somebody who's more racially ambiguous and people don't really know what she is, they don't know if she's black, if she's white. Mariah Carey went through this and I can market her to the Latinos, to the black folks, to the white people, even the Asian community can maybe somewhat see themselves in them. That's what they're going to do. So that's what I mean when I say that certain entertainers have had help in the industry because, you know, they're light skinned or because they're racially ambiguous that was able to help them. Whereas if it's somebody who's my skin tone or somebody who's dark skin, you really can't market me to other people. So again, it's about marketing, not so much the people. But my thing is this, you know, before I can call Matthew Knowles a hero and say, you know, he's blowing the lid off of colorism and good for you, Matthew, for speaking on colorism. I'm not going to call him a hero. One, I feel like he's using his daughter. He's using Beyonce to basically promote this book. You know, you're basically almost minimizing her talent as if she doesn't have any other talents than her light skin. You know, you're using that as a way to market this book to dark skinned people. And I'm not, you know, I see through the bullshit because let's keep this real. Matthew Knowles has a new girls group. Y'all not been following the whole Matthew Knowles situation I mean, when he was cheating on Tina Knowles and he got the one lady pregnant. And remember his, his uh, baby mama? The one he got the little boy by, she went off on me on Twitter over my video hoodie. She wanted to fight me. She was like, you know, don't be the girl by. We're not deleting shit, bitch. So his, his first baby mama do not like me. His second one probably don't like me either, but I have to keep that shit real. This man had two kids on Tina Knowles. The last child that he had on Tina Knowles is a beautiful little girl named Koi gorgeous she's just as beautiful as any of his grandchildren she got a head full of natural hair to the middle of her back she's a beautiful chocolate girl i did a video a while back where the mama caught herself trying to pimp out koi and had her on inside edition basically you know saying that she wants to be a singer she wants to be an entertainer basically she's trying to make her daughter the little chocolate version of beyonce when you told matthew knowles that you were pregnant with his child how did he react uh, very much. Well, you can't get pregnant by me. <laughs> you know, it can't be my child. You can't deny it once DNA test comes out 99.9% .9 that mm -hmm. you are the father. All the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Now, my thing is, he has a beautiful chocolate daughter, okay, in his own gene pool. Why is he not promoting that little girl? Why is he not putting the same effort into that little girl like he did into Beyonce? You know what I'm saying? He should be trying to market that little girl if you really want to take up for dark-skinned people and, you know, a dark-skinned plight. And then another thing, he has a girl group out. This new girl group that he has out, they're called Blush. When I went to go look at Blush's pictures and watch their music videos... I didn't see anybody in that group that looked like Kelly Rowland. I didn't even see anybody who looked, you know, even like Michelle. Everybody in that group is super light or racially ambiguous. Oh. So my thing is, what is the point of this book? What is the point of you talking about colorism, but you're not putting your money, you're not putting your energy, you're not putting your managerial talents behind any dark-skinned people? Honey, I just knew his next group that he was going to put out was going to be, you know, maybe four people who look like me talking about, say my name, say my name, if no one is around you say babe don't don't get me started y'all not love the singing shit don't get me started okay i thought there was gonna be four little chocolate girls talking about say my name say my name no it's three little light-skinned girls doing you know pop pop the wop okay and i'm not saying i'm not gonna support them if they got good music i'll support them y'all not listening to every damn body honey from damn chief keith to two chains to you know everybody and their mama is in my damn playlist okay so i will support their music if i like their shit but what i'm saying is that matthew knows what the hell is your point why are you going all over the world talking about damn colorism and doing damn news interviews and throwing your daughter under the bus? And you got a new girl group and it's full of number light skinned women. You got a chocolate daughter named Koi who's gorgeous, who can sing and tap and all that shit. You know what I mean? And you're not promoting her. So what is your point? 
I'm just saying, what is his point, y'all? Y'all are, you know, literally exalting this man into hero status like he's doing something for dark-skinned people or the dark-skinned plight. He's trying to sell his damn book. Now, I'm not mad at you, Matthew. Get your money, but I see through the bullshit, okay? You're trying to sell your book, and you're trying to use Queen Beyonce to help push that narrative, and you're trying to say, oh, you know, I was there. I watched the colorism in the industry, and I saw how my daughter got one leg up because she's light-skinned and has light eyes, and how, you know, others in the group didn't get that leg up like Kelly and Michelle. So my thing is, if Matthew knows is not willing to invest his money into a dark-skinned child, you know what I'm saying, or into a dark-skinned girl group, because he saw that, you know, yes, we all... I love Kelly Rowland. Yes, we all love Michelle, but let, let's keep it 100, y'all. Come on now. Sip away. Um, they're nowhere near Beyonce status. You can get mad all you want to, you know, dark skin crew, but it's facts, okay? When you think of one of the biggest pop stars in the world, you know, in our current era, you think Beyonce, not Kelly Rowland. And that's just being all the way real, okay? So my thing is, why is he not willing to put his money where his mouth is and back up and support a dark skin girl group or a dark skin singer? You know, you can't point a finger at the industry and say they're they're wrong for the colorism that they're perpetuating and they're wrong for you know only having a Lauren Hill every 10 years and they're not getting behind dark skin artists like the main dark skin artist I can think about now that's singing is SZA you know I know there's a few others but that's the first one that comes to mind that's real popular right now and that new Black Panther uh, album just dropped and it bangs but with that being said if he's not willing to put his money behind these groups you know or behind a dark skin singer I'm not trying to hear shit about his colorism issues and you know how colorism helped Beyonce because you're not trying trying to make a change. You're not trying to say, oh, this is what the industry did to help Beyonce, so I'm going to go ahead and circumvent that and put out a dark-skinned girl group and put, you know, a big push behind them like I did with DC3. I'm going to put a big push behind my little dark-skinned daughter like I did my little light-skinned daughter. So I'm not feeling this whole Matthew Holt. So I'm not feeling this whole Matthew Holes, what I call Matthew Holes, where she didn't have a bunch of kids out of wedlock and shit. Is there colorism in the industry? Yes. We've been speaking about this shit for years on YouTube. He ain't saying nothing that we ain't been saying on YouTube. YouTube, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like I always tell y'all, nobody can help how they're born, okay? I can't help my brown skin any more than you can help your light skin, your Mexican skin, your white skin. You know what I'm saying? We were all born into the bodies that we were born into, and you just gotta love yourself and accept yourself and work with the skin that you're in. And if you dark skin, honey, you better be proud and floss that shit. And if you're light skin, honey, you better be proud and floss that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hold your head up. You know what I mean? Don't let nobody put you in no box. Hold your head up and don't use anything as an excuse to hold you back. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts in this entire situation are you feeling this Matthew knows dark skin hobo tour you know what I'm saying I'm just gonna go from country to country state to state station to station show to show crying and talking about colorism and how you know my daughter got ahead and how my daughter you know how colorism helped my daughter you know you want to call it out but then in the same breath you're not trying to do anything to really help you you're just trying to sell your book okay I see through the bullshit I see through you okay let's go ahead and get the discussion popping make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad honey so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.